Hello IHCECC, it's Miss Michelle. Today we're going to be reading a story about Earth Day. But before we read, we wanna challenge you. What can your family do while at home to have an amazing Earth Day? Maybe you can plant some flowers or do some yard work. Maybe you can clean up some trash that's around your neighborhood while still staying safe. This book is going to give you and your family some great ideas to celebrate Earth Day like it's every day. We hope you enjoy it. Bye. Good morning, Duck Class. Today is Earth Day. Let's read a story and learn more about it. This book is called Fancy Nancy Every Day is Earth Day by Jane O'Connor. I do not like the color green very much. You can tell by my crayons. The green one looks almost new. But I adore being green. Adore is fancy for really, really loving something. Being green means taking care of our planet. Miss Glass asks, who can tell us about Earth Day? I wave my hand and say, it is like a holiday for our planet. That's right, says Miss Glass, but I like to think that every day is Earth Day. Our class discusses rules for being green. Discuss means to talk, only it's fancier and more serious. Then we write down the rules. At home, I am shocked. I see that my family needs to be much greener. My dad is about to drive to the supermarket. Dad, I say, the green rule is Less than a mile, then bike in style. At the checkout line, the guy asks my dad if we want paper or plastic bags. I say to my dad, please take note, always bring a tote. Tote is a fancy word for shopping bag. Later that night, it gets cold. My mom wants to turn up the heat. No, Mom, I say, it's better to wear a sweater. In the morning, I stand outside the bathroom. Very soon, I shout, Dad, don't waste the water. Get clean, but stay green. At school, we each make a poster. Robert says, we are like superheroes. We are protecting planet Earth. That night, I see my mom's computer is on. Right away, I turn it off. My mom comes into the room. She sees the blank screen. Why did you do that, she asks. I tell her she is wasting energy. I was writing something for work, my mom says. I just went to get my glasses. Now I lost everything I wrote. I have to start all over. She is very irritated. That is a fancy word for mad. But how was I to know? I am just protecting the planet. I tell my sister not to run water while she brushes her teeth. I remind my parents to turn off lights in an empty room. Before bed, I go into my sister's room. I start to turn off her lamp. Oh no, my mom says, your sister is afraid of the dark. She likes the light on. Soon my sister is asleep. Now she does not need the light on. I tiptoe into her room and turn off her light. In the middle of the night, I wake up. I hear my sister crying. What is wrong? Your sister woke up and got scared, Dad says. She was alone in the dark. Did you turn off her lamp? Yes, I say. I am so sorry. I didn't think she would wake up. I start crying too. The next morning, my parents say, it is important to be green and we will try harder, but you must not be so bossy and you must be flexible. That is the opposite of stubborn. At school, I perk up. Miss Glass adores my poster. My green crayon does not look new anymore. My family really is greener now. Tonight at dinner, we use candles, not light bulbs. We use cloth napkins. 
not paper ones. Guess what? Being green can also be very fancy. Fancy Nancy's fancy words in this book. Adore, to really, really love something or someone. Discuss, to talk seriously. Flexible, the opposite of stubborn. Irritated, mad. Tote, a shopping bag. Here's what Nancy learned. Less than a mile, then bike in style. Please take note, always bring a tote. In cold weather, keep the room temperature low. It's better to wear a sweater. Don't waste water. Get clean, but stay green. I hope you enjoyed the story, Fancy Nancy, Every Day is Earth Day. Have fun celebrating Earth Day with your family. Let's pretend that Earth Day is every day.